So today, we've got a job where we've been given free reign. Basically, he's doing his room up for his lad. He said, Ben, do what you think. So let's jump in, see what we can do. Right, first things first. <sighs> Customer gave me a cup of tea. Right, so to start with, in this room, we have a bed. So we want a double socket down here. The light switch moving over, getting rid of that, which we're gonna rewire the lights anyway, because we're gonna take this out of the ceiling and put LED all the way around. Uh, another double socket over here. And another double socket up here for the TV. It's quite a small job, but fun. And also a little reminder, there's an LED light in the bathroom we need to place in. It's always something else. the old rubber cable out but we can use these holes spot on <laughs> Nothing's ever as easy as it looks. Over here, this is getting boarded with insulation board. So yeah, 50 mil, so 35 mil box would be fantastic on there, but I just wanted to chase this in so it doesn't sort of stop the plasterboard from sitting flush. So that is my plan while I chase down there. These ones, I'm assuming are some sort of thermalite brick. So they're gonna need a bit more work to get into there because that multi tool ain't gonna do it. This is with this switch as well. But obviously you've got to be careful because you do not want to go through the other side. So I'm not gonna smash it with the okay, that's got a brick in there as well. So anything's gone in there. So I'm not gonna smash it with the SDS drill. I'm gonna try and cut it neat so it doesn't disrupt the other side of the plasterboard. Right, so we've got the socket fixed up there. I'm gonna put a couple more screws in there, but I fixed it up with a bit of OB1 sealant and adhesive. For now, two, because this is a bit random. It's hard to fix two, so I'll fix it in here for now. We're gonna put some screws in it later when that's dry. But that will hold it in position whilst I wire it. It's the plan. And look, that's in there, but it's also wonky. So yeah, it's gonna need some screws in there once that's dried out a bit. Just to hold it in place. 
and then get this cable up to the lights and take that out. Good look at that. So we're getting there. So that's it, first fix complete. Ready for the plasterer to come tomorrow. And we're not gonna do anything with this profile just yet because the ceiling's getting plastered. I started barking out just to give myself an idea of where I'm gonna go. So, and I've obviously took that light down because we're gonna have LED stripping here now. On one wall is getting insulated board, which is 50 mil, so I put a 35 mil box on. And just to put it straight to the wall, really. So that's perfect. Socket, socket, and light. So I've let the customer know what I need to do. Once it's been boarded, then I'll come back and put the LED profile on. I only need an hour or so to put the profile in. So hopefully the plasterer won't be too upset with that. Give me an hour just to faff around before he puts his skim on. So that's the plan. So rather than cutting the LED track on site, I thought I'd cut it to length in the garage because I can just take my time and make it nice and neat. And it makes it a lot quicker to install once you get there. So what I did, I took a measurement of the room to work out how I'm going to cut the track to make it fit that room. So this is the room, what we've got. There, there, there. The door is sort of there. With the light switch and stuff like that. So this is where we put a double socket. Uh, double socket, double socket, just so I know where the room is, there's the window. And then if I go to the photo on my phone, we had two, three, four that way. So that's two meters 34. And then 180 that way. And I was gonna come off 40 from each end. Which 40, 400, that's quite a lot from the edge. So I'm going to knock it down and come off 30 from the edge. 30. It's a small room and we just want to light up the edge of that. Basically, that's going to be the LED track. So then, if we go to our calculator, two three, four, minus 60 equals 174. So we want two at 174. And then 180 minus 60 and a two at 120. But we want them to match up. So let's make sure they cut nice and neat, ready. And what I'm gonna do is come in this corner with the cables. So we'll be cutting a hole in them corners to go back into the ceiling to pick up the live for the LED. So first things first, take this plastic off so I'll get a true reading on my tape measure. And what I wanna get is from corner to corner, one, three, four. So this is how I'm gonna get my 40 to five degrees. It's basically for a tile, but I'm going to use it to get my edge. So I wanna go at a 45 degree angle. If possible. See in there what I've marked across that's a 45 degree angle, so they should all be 45 degree angles and they will match up, which we'll see later on. So, from that corner. From that corner 
to there is the longest one which is 174 so then get my pen from that corner there that too did it One seven four exactly the same because we want this to be exactly the same length. Oh, in there, look, we just get them to exactly the same length as this one because then that will make the full rectangle. Mark there and there. So then this is perfect and um, perfect sugar there we go now it's perfect you bring it in straight down there so that is perfect so then that will make a rectangle once we've done the other two but whilst i'm here as well i'm going to cut some holes in the back of this to fix it up to the ceiling so I want to go 10, 50, 100, 150. And all I'm going to do here is some little holes just to get screw through. And then the final thing I want to do is put the capping on so I can cut that to length as well. So I'll get this capping on here. There we go. A bit better. Go over with that. I can cut it nice and neat for when it goes on later. Cheers. Basically, this will be plastered and decorated, looking lovely. Just got to put the sockets on and sort this lighting out. Right, did he get plaster all over him? But that was the whole point of this. So I'm going to rip this off and see if it kept it nice and clean. Now, with these LED tracks, I'm always concerned that they're not going to be bright enough. So what I do is put a bit of foil tape in there to reflect the light. So if you just put it on there and then cut it just along there so it fits nice and neat, then it's got a sort of reflector in effect to reflect the light down. I did do a little experiment in the garage, and yes, it does make it a bit brighter. So yeah, I'll put it in as well. And I've been hacksawing this to get it off, but I think if you can get a nice straight edge, mark it with your Stanley, and snap it. That's a 10 times better cut. 
the desired effect worked out. Basically, we've got it nice, basically across the ceiling, just like that, spot on. Moment of truth. It should come on, I've wired it to a driver, which is in the loft, and then the power to it is on a plug because the plug come with the transformer. So I've put a single plug up there so it can be switched off or isolated if anyone ever works on it. But then all of what I needed was a live neutral nerf down to here to power this because this connects to the receiver upstairs, remote uh, wirelessly basically. So it just needs a live neutral nerf. So what color should we try? Red. It's like a dim pink. Ah, red. Yellow, green, blue, purple, red. It works. So we've got all the color. There's two circuits in there as well. So this just confirms that I've got both of them wired at the wire way around. Because otherwise blue would be green on half of it. It'd just be a nightmare. But I was confident that I did it right. So then, but what if you just want a normal light? Knock that off and it just knocks it all off. So we just want a cool white. Well, it's just like a mix of a cool white and a warm white. Like them lights you get that do that. So this will light up the room. Obviously, he's sitting there doing homework because this is a young lad's room. But you can also dim it down. If I'm right. Just by dimming it down on this. Yes. How far does it go? Ah. Oh goes down to nothing so yeah you can have like a dim light in there as well which is quite good hold your finger on it I'm assuming it comes back up spot on yes nice and bright if I knew that we we're gonna do this on the wall we could have done some sort of zigzag on the ceiling as well which would have matched it would look quite good I didn't know that we can do that so yep, yeah, it's like a disco in here now. At night, I think it'll be a lot better. And then you can also hook it up to your app on a phone through Smart Life, and it'll work with music as well. Because you know what lads are like, they'll have a bit of music playing, maybe a bit of um, Oasis. And then rather hang around at the customer's house till it got dark, the customer sent me a video of the lights all working, all different colors, and they were very happy.